Okay, so it's time to remove the masking fluid to see what we've got here. I'm just using a rubber cement pickup. It can be found in the glue aisle uh, and occasionally by the masking fluid. If you see some of this gooey stuff on the edges, you can just tear it off. I always recommend testing your uh, rubber cement pickup on a scrap piece of paper because sometimes pigment gets built up in these little bits even though you've tried your best to remove them. So just test it and make sure it's not streaking or leaving behind any residue because if that happens to you, um, you won't be able to remove it at all from your painting. So it's best to test it first on a scrap piece of paper. So you can see some of this little, this gunky residue left over here. So um, we don't want that on your good painting. So I'm trying to find a good corner. This one seems to be viable. So off I go. I've got a lot of masking fluid on here. So I'm using this little tool because it speeds things up. Otherwise, you can use your finger just to remove it, but I try to avoid touching my paper as much as possible. So I'm starting to get um, a little bit of uh, buildup on the edges here, so I'm just removing that. Test it again on a scrap and it looks good, so carry on. So you can see the areas that I masked in the greens, they're much more interesting now because I put that uh, second and third layer of green over top. I've got a lot more dimension in here and that uh, gives me some bright greens and lots of contrast. And that's exactly what we're going for in this painting. So I will feel around just lightly to make sure that I have removed all of the masking fluid because sometimes it's a little tricky to spot. So I do need my fingertips to just kind of check it out. 